Okay, hi guys. So today I am, oh wow, it's not working. I'm going to show you how to have naturally curly hair. It's not exactly natural, but it's without any heat, which is good because the heat causes damage in your hair and can basically, when you're older, make it fall out. And no one wants to make it bald when they're a girl. Shut up. Sorry, Facebook. <laughs> okay, so you're going to want to start with really smooth, damp hair. So, no knots or anything. You're going to tie up the top half just really quickly. Doesn't have to look pretty. Looking pretty is for after. <laughs> and you're going to separate it into little chunks like that. And you can do that as you go or like I do it now. You're going to take a paper bag and you're going to cut it into strips about this big. Mine is this big because my hair is relatively thick. It's not, you know, like thick and it's not really thin. So you have to cut them for your specific um, hair type. If you do this a couple times with assorted sizes, you'll be able to see which gives you the best curl. So now you're going to start a bit above the top and you are going to fold it in half like that. Now you're going to slide it down all the way to the very bottom and you are going to start rolling. This It should be pretty tight, tight enough that it won't fall out, um, but tight enough, or, but loose enough that um, the top half can be tighter because that's what natural curls are like. The top half is usually tight. And you're gonna tie it in a knot like that. So you're gonna do that a couple times. I'll spare you from seeing that over and over again. And so pretend that I did that because I don't know how to edit stuff on this stupid computer. Um, you're going to take out the top half of your hair if I can. And you got to remember that um, when you're finished, you can, if you're in a hurry, um, blow dry your hair with a hair dryer. Um, but we t like to go au natural and dry it naturally. But, um, you can do it when you sleep or when you're awake, which is what I'm going to do because it is not near bedtime. You're performing my gym jams. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing with the top half. Fold it, slide it down, and start rolling. You can roll inwards or outwards. Like You can roll like this in or like this out. Um, depending on what curl you want, but remember to do the same thing every time. Otherwise, that would look really messed up. <laughs> okay. And tie. And if that just happened, like it did to me, I'm sorry to say, you have to undo it. Make sure to brush it. If you do screw up, make sure to brush it. Take a new fresh strand that's not wet. Tie. Fold it, slide it down, and roll the same way you did with all the other curls. And these ones should be pretty tight, right up to the top of your head, if you can. Um, with shorter hair, I, this is a really this is really cute because I tend to see when um I had shorter hair, it was really hard to curl it with an iron because the iron would always be burning my head, and so. This is good for you short-haired people, long-haired people, same thing. So, when you, I'm just going to do two, because um, I'm actually going to have straight hair tomorrow. But So it should look like this, except you'll have a head full of them. And you're going to want to keep them in until they're dry. If you take them out before, that's going to suck for you. Um, and always before you take them out, if you're not quite sure if it's dry, if you go in between the knot like this, you just put your finger in between the knot. Um, and then you check to see if that is dry because that's the um, inner layer of your hair. Okay, so this has been the Sock Munchers. Yeah, be sure to check out my other videos. Um, I haven't, I don't generally do health or beauty care videos, but I think I will because I've been addicted to watching Michelle Fan, and I'll probably put a link in to her channel in my box. So, yes, see you guys later.